What has happened in BC Spirits? BC Spirits number Spirit Day number 121. It means we've done 100 plus three weeks. Was it three weeks ago that I did number 100 episode? <sighs> COVID is killing my time frame. Three weeks. Three weeks since I did number 100. That is mind-blowing. Sorry, it just is. Um, but today, something brand spanking new. I haven't even opened it. It's the brand new Legend of Stealing Honeymoon, their Citrus Gin. Now, you know how much I love Citrus Gin. I've talked about Citrus Gin quite a lot. We've tasted the Discovery Street. We've tasted from Phillips. We've tasted the Citrus Gin from Moon Underwater. So this is brand spanking new. I haven't even cracked it. Oh, the seal, the first seal crack. It's just something special about cracking the seal for the first time. Um, so Citrus Gin, oh, I can already smell it. Oh, wow. It is uh, with a little Okanagan honey, which is interesting. It's still 40% alcohol, which is great. Um, with the honey aspect, I assumed it was going to be a little bit lower alcohol, but it does not seem like it is. It's still 40%. It's got a little bit of color to it. I'm just looking at... Uh... Okay, so for fresh love, Sandcraft Gin combines the flavors of lemon peel, lemongrass, lemon verbena, awesome herb, uh, with a sweet kiss of Okanagan honey. Okay. Fantastic, let's give it a go. The color, you can see there's a little bit of a color to it. So not overly filtered. I would probably hesitate to say the uh, lemongrass and lemon verbena. It's interesting to be using a different, uh, like it's a citrus gin, but citrus comes in a certain, like you look at the chemical makeup of citrus, it exists in lemongrass, it exists in lemon verbena. So I thought that's a very clever thing. I don't think I've seen that in other citrus gins. Oh, candied lemon on the nose. You're getting a big punch of like, what it reminds me of actually is lemongrass you would get in like a Thai dish in like a an a like Southeast Asian sort of style dish. Oh, fragrant lemongrass. Lemon verbena is there. It really adds to that candied lemon. This one plays very differently. Yeah. I'm trying to wrap my head around it right now. Um, you're definitely getting that full on citrus before, like firsthand, very different to like the moon underwater and the discovery street gin, definitely lemon verbena, lemongrass, lemon peel, all in the front of the palate. And then in the back is all that juniper and, and gin forward sort of flavor profile. It's almost sweet, but it's not sweet. And the honey just gives it sort of like a honeycomb, um, honey blossom, sort of like the, the honeysuckle blossom sort of taste to it too. It's not overly sweet, it's not cloying or anything like that. Balances out really nicely with that, with that, uh, with everything that's going on in there. Great little product. I love their flavored gins. I think their flavored gins are super underrated. So, number 121, The Honeymoon from Legends Distilling. Brand spanking new, just tasted it, blew my mind. See you guys tomorrow, bye.